bonding of rails on electric railroad systems which includes streetcar lines, trolley lines, and subways. It is necessary to provide an electrical jumper, usually made of brass or copper, between each stick or rail. The first step is to prepare the rail for welding. This is done by grinding the edge of the rail so it is free of all rust and down to shiny steel metal. Now we place the bonding strap in the graphite jig which will clamp it to the rail. First step is to place the strap in the jig. Second part is to clamp the jig to the rail. Now what's the tank of propane for? Well, you're supposed to heat the rail first, make sure it's you know, dry. I don't think I'll worry about it. Now we open the tops of the graphite jig. In the holes, we insert a little steel disc. This disc will hold the thermite powder in place until we ignite it. The thermite powder is poured in from the little blue tube. Now we close the lid and throw a little more powder down inside the lid and now we are ready for ignition. Okay. This is a close up of the thermite welding process. The little steel disc has already been inserted into the graphite block. Now we're going to pour in the thermite welding material, close the lid, and add a little more material to the top of the lid. Next we go on to the second graphite block and pour the welding material into it and close its lid. Now once again we are ready for ignition. We ignite the material with a sparker. Then you'll notice the molten brass is pouring out the bottom onto the rail. Joking, we were running uh, 
faint 500 ball here. We had eight in, eight four was good, now we got five. Before removing the graphite welding jig, we cleaned the slag out of it. Now we remove the welding jig. And the final step is to clean the slag off the actual welds and to grind them down smooth so they're not sticking up above the uh, head of the rail. Now we inspect the welds and clean them up. The cleaning process consists of removing the slag which is built up on top of the weld and then grinding the weld so it does not stick up above the head of the rail. This will cause a bump of the, of the trolley car as it passes by. Yeah, I'm done with everything now.